The only people who don't want to discuss the truth are the people with something to hide. America has probably never had a president with so much to hide as does Barry Sotoro, nor has it ever had a president who has worked so hard at hiding it. They often convict themselves with their own words without even realizing it. Barry Sotoro, during both his first bid for the White House and the ensuing years after gaining office, eventually put the United States through what seemed to be a never-ending gyration of legal battles, also including obfuscations, double speed, and misdirection campaign. Barry Sotoro's own administration placed that document on the White House website April 2011 in the form of a digital PDF photocopy of something. The PDF is a proven fraudulent and completely fabricated document from the ground up. Some speculate. Lou Dobbs phrase, quote, this particular little document has some issues. We have a certification of live birth that doesn't have a signature or an attestation of any kind attached to it, unquote. He was eventually fired from CNN for daring to do so. Some even speculate that Trump ramped up an ever-growing pressure for then-president President Barry Sotoro to produce a legitimate loan form birth certificate. Trump could eventually take credit for pressuring a sitting U.S. president to quote unquote put up or shut up regarding his highly controversial birth narrative. It appeared to be a number of credible people that the document had been manipulated. A large mass of the American public was being effectively brainwashed largely through the vehicle of fake news. Adolf would have been proud of his grandson, Barry Sotoro. Not a single law enforcement agency on the planet dared to formally examine the PDF from a purely investigative and forensic perspective. That is until Sheriff Joe Arparo from Phoenix, Arizona, America's toughest sheriff, got involved in August 2011. Here's where it gets very interesting. Some even speculate that the Bertha movement begun with Democrats supporting Clinton and opposing Barry. Barry Sotoro's own publicist who also had been a advisor for 17 years named Destel from 1991 to 2007 had ubiquitously distributed Barry's bio narrative through various national media outlets and public networks. They categorically claimed that Barry had been born, wait for it, in Kenya y'all. What I found very interesting is that Acton and Destel declared the Kenyan birth declaration to be a mere 17 year editor's mistake. Hmm, who got to them? We're gonna keep it going. Though. It is now a profusely documented fact that the very crux of the Bertha narrative and the campaign agenda was originally introduced to the masses by Hillary's own top campaign advisor, Sidney Blumenthal and Mark Penn. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Not only that, in fact, Mark Penn even wrote a campaign strategy memo urging Hillary to persistently question Barry's well, lack of American roots, unquote, because it could have held him back. Not only that, McClatchy Company was unequivocally involved in helping spread the the Clinton campaign plan birther message. The former Washington Bureau Chief of uh, McClouchy had publicly claimed that Clinton aided and confident was spreading the rumor that Barry Sotoro was born in Kenya and therefore not eligible to be president. Blumenthal actually admits he was pressuring McClouchy to investigate rumors related to Barry's family in Kenya but claims he never went so far as to push the dreaded birther rumor. Not only that, on an episode of Morning Joe by Joe Scarberg himself, Scarberg states, quote, I guess we had to get our digs in on Hillary Clinton here because the birth of narrative all started with her and her campaign passing things around in a Democratic Party. It started with Hillary Clinton and it spread it throughout Clinton team. That is the truth. Unquote. Hollywood reporter Mike Evers claiming to be a long term friend of Abercrombie said the governor had told him that he had in fact searched quote everywhere unquote at hawaii hospitals and that quote there is no barack obama birth certificate in hawaii absolutely no proof at all that he was born in hawaii unquote a mere six days later however very convenient to the Barry administration Evans, all of a sudden, quote unquote, had a change of heart and literally walked back on the entire claim. Evans even changed and denied the foundation of his own original narrative altogether. What's also very interesting is that Andy Martin painted Barry as a closet Muslim in 2004. Martin had disavowed the movement he's often credited with starting. Hillary's campaign even circulated a picture of Barry Sotoro wearing customary Muslim attire in order to call into question his quote, traditional American, unquote, loyalty and to promote his perceived, quote, closet Muslim, 
unquote statue. Major General Valley attested Barry's actual birth certificate has never been found in Hawaii nor released from any Hawaii hospitals. We've had three CIA agents all come to the same conclusion that even the loan form was a forged document. No member of Congress will take this on because it would be in fact a felony offense in some cases even treason. Some even say that they are afraid of a black backlash from some of the urban areas. Valley even said that he think that they're the FBI covering for his administration. Corruption within his administration is so proliferated through the agencies of government. He even attested that not only all the members of Congress but even our courts are corrupted at this time. General Valley alleged that Barry's FBI headed by Mueller and followed by Comey, the Barry era Congress and the Barry era courts all in one way or the other were involved in covering up facts surrounding Barry's birth. These are facts that three retired CIA agents had discovered early on, namely Barry's PDF quote birth certificate unquote was a forged document. Let's not forget that Dr. Charles E. Rice hand these words quote if it turns out that Obama knew he was ineligible when he campaigned and when he took the oath as president it could be the biggest political fraud in the history of the world which brings me to my next point for a long time now there's been too much secrecy in this city this administration stands on the side not of those who seek to withhold information but with those who seek to be known let's not forget that barry sotoro in 2009 stated quote once you are known they come for you unquote someone had committed a series of serious federal crimes in order to digitally fabricate a major identifying document for america commander-in-chief. Some even speculate that the Clinton scheme had been to totally discredit the quickly rising new star Barry Sotoro and to thus secure Hillary as the Democratic frontrunner in the 2008 election. Let's not forget what Joe Biden said. Quote, I mean, you got the first African-American who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. Unquote. Not only that, Biden also mentioned, quote, I mean, that's a storybook man, unquote. Barry Sotoro, the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review, was born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii. Some even speculate that Hillary Clinton, in fact, began to publicly question Barry's, quote, American roots, unquote, just as she had been advised to do by her campaign official. MSNBC's own Chris Matthew reported on Hillary Clinton stoking of the original birther movement. Matthews had expressed his un ease on a live episode of Harbaugh with Chris Matthew stating quote so what is Hillary up to here is she pushing how great Obama is for having been born in Indonesia or what or simply reminded everybody about his background his Islamic background unquote not only that y'all 60 Minutes caught Hillary Clinton double speaking 60 Minutes interviewed Hillary Clinton and asked if she really thought Barry was a Muslim Hillary first appeared to sincerely insist that she did not think Barry was a Muslim then she quickly changed her statement with the words quote as far as I know unquote then she further tempered her answer by smuggling proclaiming quote he is whatever he says he is unquote interestingly enough only a frontline media voice that immediately came to Hillary's defense regarding that interview trying to spin her answers into a more positive meaning was the media matter who is funded by wait for it wait for it George Soros y'all let me know what y'all think that being said this is part one I really didn't want to overload y'all on too much information but I wanted to give y'all enough information so y'all can understand what's really going on for anyone that would like to know why I got this information from you can always go check out Shadowland the book by Thomas R. Horn, recorded by Robert L. Magnus. And if you didn't know, now you know, Niji. Listen, y'all, I'm only here to bring y'all food for thought, soul food at that. This is the food that's going to feed your inner soul and help you understand what's really been going on behind the curtain. Don't take my word for it. I need y'all to go do y'all own investor search, investigation research, and y'all let me know what y'all come back with. Understand that clear eyes always recognize real lies. So when I'm doing is making sure that you guys are very aware. We not gonna do too much y'all. I really appreciate everyone that take the time out to watch these videos in depth and then to actually comment. Thank you so much because you deserve it. A lot of individuals would like me to go over to Rumble. So what I have decided to do is start my own website. We got the Oso Melanin team in the background making sure that everything is gonna be put right together for you guys so you have all the informative information you need on one platform without it being censored. And with that being said, if you're functional with me, I would love to see you over there. We have to also understand that we are warriors, not warriors.
understand the struggle that we're going through today is only providing us for the strength that we'll need for tomorrow understand also that life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent how you react to it you have to understand that only after becoming familiar with the lore of our own principality is it permissible for us to learn other things understand that fear equals false evidence appearing real so until next time like next time y'all stay tuned i got more as i always like to express in all my other videos i am not here to turn non-believers into to believers i'm only here to bring y'all food for thought and with that being said your opinion is your opinion that way that part why though michael and i also want to acknowledge uh... i mean this dude is a genius